Hi everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel where I talk about all things tech and EVs. I have reviewed Teslas, Audi e-trons, Hyundai Ionics, and today for the first time ever, I'm going to be reviewing the EQS SUV by Mercedes-Benz, which is a direct competitor to the Tesla Model X. Now, before I get into my review, let me first go over the model that I have been testing. It's the 2023 EQS 580 Formatic, and it is the premium trim in the emerald green metallic color with the macchiato beige space gray leather interior. All right, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get started by talking about the design. Honestly, my initial and ongoing impression of the EQS SUV's exterior has been less than enthusiastic. Even after spending considerable time with it, this electric SUV's appearance remains its least captivating feature. To me, it kind of resembles a massive jelly bean. The lack of intricate design elements on the hood, fascia, and sides contributes to its less noteworthy visual impact. Despite its unique grillless front, curvaceous rear, subtle lighting, and distinctive five-spoke wheels, the EQS SUV tends to blend into its surroundings rather than standing out. The front of the EQS SUV boasts a distinct appearance highlighted by black trim piece that prominently holds the Mercedes logo at the center. Additional smaller three-pointed stars are dispersed across the black trim. The front fascia successfully infuses sportiness by integrating air vents and black accents, while the headlights extend toward the A-pillars contributing to its sleek profile. Moving to the rear, a single-piece LED taillight connects both rear corners and the body's adorned with sleek character lines. While the EQS SUV's exterior leaves me underwhelmed, the interior, however, points a completely different picture. An elegant fusion of supple leather, exquisite wood, and a glass-dominant dashboard creates a modern and luxurious atmosphere. Its list of standard interior features includes selectable ambient lighting, heated and ventilated front seats, leather upholstery, a panoramic sunroof, and wireless charging. Now, I personally own the Tesla Model X, and though I love it, I must say that the finish of this Benz is extremely impressive, and it screams luxury and premium in every way. When you sit inside this cabin, you feel like you're genuinely getting your money's worth. The EQS SUV features the type of rich materials and high-tech equipment that define modern-day Mercedes-Benz models. Despite my personal reservations about the hyperscreen, its visual impact cannot be denied. Covering an expanse of 56 inches of space across the driver's and front passenger's areas, the hyperscreen possesses an undeniable wow factor. It's an optional feature for the EQS 450 Plus, but it comes standard in the EQS 580, but more on that in a little bit. With its energizing comfort feature, the EQS SUV ensures that the climate and air inside the car provide great comfort to all occupants. It also improves air quality with the combination of the HEPA filter, sensors, and air conditioning. In essence, the cabin mirrors that of the EQS sedan. The sleek air vents are seamlessly integrated into the dashboard, while ambient lighting enhances the nighttime driving experience. Notably, the center console's wood cover features a multitude of small three-pointed stars, a first for Mercedes-Benz. Personally, I lean towards a cleaner aesthetic rather than the abundance of logos, although this isn't quite a deal-breaker. Now, let's talk about infotainment. Mercedes-Benz focuses on three key things with their EQ lineup, ease of use, intelligence, and luxury. And the EQS SUV features the very latest generation of the Mercedes-Benz user experience, or for short, MBUX. Now, you can control MBUX by the touch controls on the steering wheel, the touchscreen, or built-in voice assistant. But it's clearly this hyperscreen that takes center stage as it is an excellent setup with beautiful, clear graphics, bright colors, and excellent response times. And this hyperscreen is technically made up of three separate displays that are bonded together under one solid piece of glass. There's the instrument cluster, the main central display, and the front passenger display. Now, the more you use this digital interface, the more it begins to understand the driver, and it puts up a customized user interface. It is also compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, wirelessly. And of course, you can enjoy great music with the 15-speaker Burmester 3D surround system and Dolby Atmos. The Burmester 3D audio system is so good and rich that I'm still surprised that it's a standard equipment on all EQS SUVs. For the passengers in the back, you can also get the MBUX rear seat entertainment system that gives you displays to access multimedia and entertainment options. Now, before we talk about cargo capacity and range, 
let's go over perhaps the most important thing, the driving experience. The EQS 580 is the beefiest model in the EQS SUV lineup, as it has a pair of electric motors, one at each axle, combined to produce 536 horsepower and 633 pound-feet of torque, which is enough power for this SUV to reach 16 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds. The EQS SUV comes standard with an adjustable air suspension and a rear axle steering system that makes it surprisingly agile. Unlike the sedan, the SUV features an off-road drive mode that raises the suspension and alters the powertrain's behavior. The handling is good, but could definitely be better, and the steering feedback is pretty minimal. However, what I love about driving the EQS SUV is not about how fast it is, but how it drives overall, and that is that it is extremely smooth, buttery smooth. All right, so the drive is smooth, comfortable, and speedy, but what about range? The EQS SUV does sacrifice some range for its larger, less efficient body. The EPA rates the EQS 580 SUV at 285 miles per charge. However, if you downsize to the 450, then the range improves to 305 miles. When it comes time to juice up, the EQS SUV will accept up to 200 kilowatts of juice, going from 10 to 80% of charge in about just half an hour. Last but certainly not the least, let's go over cargo capacity. The EQS comes standard with two rows of seats that accommodate five passengers, but a third row is optional and adds seating for two more people. There's up to 31 cubic feet of cargo area behind the second row on five-seater models, Models fitted with the third row of seats max out at 28 cubes behind the second row, but the volume shrinks to 7 cubes when the third row is in use. Also, unlike many EVs on the market, the EQS SUV sadly does not offer a front trunk. So to sum up, the Mercedes-Benz EQS stands out as an exceptional SUV. Its driving experience and the sheer luxury of its interior makes it quite a delightful ride. The EQS SUV truly competes head-on with other prominent luxury EV crossovers in the market, positioning itself as a strong contender. Without a doubt, I full-heartedly recommend this SUV. In fact, I find the experience of being inside its cabin even more appealing than that of my own Model X. If you're interested, leave a comment below if you want to see a side-by-side -side comparison between the EQS SUV and the Tesla Model X. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all things related to EVs. If you have any questions or thoughts about the EQS SUV, feel free to share them in the comment section below. Until then, stay tuned and I'll see you next time.